This is the eBay Arc Senac demolition hammer. Got my earplugs in, safe glasses, no shoes, hopefully I don't need them. Jackhammer and my shipping scale, and we're gonna see how much it weighs. And this is with the bit. Balance it. Right. So here I am holding up with the bit. It looks to be about 32 pounds. Once again, I get 32.5 pounds with it. So, the bit weighs about 3 pounds, and the weight without the bit is... Yep, so, about 30 pounds. Alright, I got a 12 gauge drop cord. Uh, I was using an orange one, but if you look on the side of it, it'll tell you the gauge, and it was only 16 gauge for 50 feet. It's not safe. So I got a 12 gauge drop cord, and it's going into an outlet that uses uh, 20 amp wire, or uh, 12, what is it, 12 3 ground? Yeah. Uh, so of the two bits. It came with this chisel bit and then it came with a like, pointy bit uh, to re release the blade. 30 pounds it is heavy. It's awkward to hold. Uh, can you take this? I was going like this and trying to take it off for some reason, but you take this little square piece and rotate it. It comes out. Go in there. Rotate it counterclockwise. It locks. So there you go. All right. Here's the project we have. You don't have gloves? Huh? Gloves? Alright, there's two settings on the handle. One is the trigger, self explanatory, it turns it on. This one is a lock. The silver one is a lock, so you can turn it on. And then you just press the trigger again to release the lock. Uh, I used schedule, uh, schedule 40. Uh, used 40 weight AutoZone oil. Uh, they said to use Ortella shell, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Number 40. And a lot of people were using just normal 10W30 motor oil without problems, so I, I figured it's close enough. And we did a little bit of work so far, and it's not really eating through it. Like some people have suggested, but we'll see.
first. Unplug it. Yeah, we know. All right, just all right. Clockwise. Out. Taking the spade off. Or the chisel. I'm gonna try this bit. So I Mm-hmm. So this one might get stuck easier. But let's see what happens. Worst case scenario, I just disconnect. And so this is similar to that, which I videotaped earlier. Now let's see. try just holding it and pulling back because the bit does lock in it's gonna help me pull it out all right so that is pretty annoying oh. try it on that one that's lifted up would it be better over there because it's lifted yeah. I don't think the other one's doing pretty well over here, too. Oh. Yeah, the other one works. 